The family of a young man from Orange County is struggling with their grief and at the same time trying to find out how and why he was killed while on vacation in Colombia. Welcome back and today we have three Tinder dates that went wrong. Technology has brought us closer, but it has changed the ways we operate, how we date, communicate and how we work. With all this advancement, it has taken away some of our privacy. As every site we do business on requires bits of our personal information. The advancement in technology has provided for some old tricks to be repackaged in different and more effective ways. For example, the honey trap. Welcome back to Serial Chronicles and today we're going to look at some crimes that has happened on Tinder. Let's start with a honey trap that went terribly wrong. Paul Nguyen, an American from California that went on an adventurous Tinder date in Colombia, never expected not to make it back. Paul was traveling in a South American country with his friend when he made the fateful decision to meet up with a girl he met on Tinder. Paul reportedly met the woman in the affluent El Palvador neighborhood of the city known for its hip cafes, gourmet restaurants, and nightlife. Now before we get into the fluff about this neighborhood, this is still Medellin, Colombia, best known for its murders and one Pablo Escobar, who ran the Medellin cartel. The family shared information that his credit card recorded several transactions at an ATM in the Laurels neighborhood. His body was discovered a short walk from the ATM. Several hours later, the morning of November 10th, 2022. This is truly a sad story and our condolences goes out to the family. Now on to Tinder date number two. Elijah Darius Scott from Memphis, Tennessee carjacked his Tinder date at gunpoint. After reporting the incident to the police, the victim said that Scott texted her and offered to sell her car back to her for $500. Scott, who remains in jail on a $260,000 bond, was also accused in July 2021 of being one of four people who allegedly stole $60,000 worth of items from a woman's home in Memphis. And now on to Tinder date number three. This Tinder date just would not go away. Mickey Ort, a Massachusetts woman studying abroad in the Netherlands, went on a Tinder date with Thomas R. When the date was over, he placed a tracker on her bicycle, becoming a stalker. During this period after the date, Mickey rekindled her flame with her ex-boyfriend. This caused her stalker to become very jealous and irate and fatally stabbed her. As seen, these are just old tacts repackaged into another platform. Before it was about going to bars or discos or public meeting place. Now criminals have another tool for their criminal endeavors. I offer my sincere condolences to these family members. Please stay vigilant and situationally aware of your surroundings. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.